What is up guys, DT Ninja here to bring you my Boruto Chapter 16 review and discussion. Kara and the Noble Eightfold Path. So, uh, I'm going to go over some things I noticed in the latest, I guess, you know, it's it's been a while since the last chapter. Uh, this was actually supposed to be out a while ago. Uh, but since Chapter 17 is coming out this week, I really wanted to do this. Uh, so I will be going over things I noticed in the last two chapters, so chapter 15 and 16. And then I'm going to go into our discussion questions. I've got three specific, and there's a little bit more than three. There's like four questions that I'm going to address, and we can go off from there. So things I noticed about chapters 15 and 16. Well, first things first, Kara. Kara, yes, guys. Kara looks freaking epic. Just take a look at them. Take a look at them. The the vibe you get from them, dangerous. Similar vibe that I got from, you know, when we first saw the Akatsuki. Um, really cool stuff. Okay. Oh, and by the way, those color scans are not uh, by me. I want to give proper credit uh, to where uh, they came from. And they are from ACK3R-Man. You can go to his YouTube um, he's actually got a YouTube and it, he's got the entire chapter in color. Well, half of the chapter in color. So I'm using some of his color scans and I'm going to be, uh, showing you, uh, his video in the description. So I'm going to share that with you. So definitely check his channel out. That, uh, video he did for, it's a, mo it's a motion video. So, uh, you can read half of the chapter uh, and it's got some OST and stuff in the background. So really cool stuff. Uh, pretty cool. Anyways, okay, things that I noticed. Um, Kara has different seals on the wall, and two of them have been shown in the first chapter. You, you probably know this uh, when chapter 15 was first started. Uh, you know, Shujoji first says, that organization, you're not with them, are you? When he's talking to Boruto, when he looks at his seal, and uh, we finally get the introduction of the new organization, or Kara. Now, uh, like I said, there are seals that are shown on the wall, okay? So it, it does beg that question, this is what they are... Uh, their important duty is to, you know, gather these seals, uh, and what are they, right? We're going to discuss these. It's different. Um, let me get my wall scroll, because that one uh, basically shows uh, the, best, the best look at it, because you can see it in color and everything. So, you can see what I'm talking about here. This is the seal right here on board on uh, Kawaki's arm right here and then you can actually see you can actually see uh, his palm here and then Boruto's here so you can see how they they are the same one so anyway uh, that is what I'm talking about so take a look at this scan that I did and you can see uh, you know the uh, relation to the seals so yeah take a look So as you can see, pretty cool stuff. Now we have a connection. Kawaki, Boruto, and Kara. They're all connected somehow. Uh, and so, here's the next thing that I noticed. Shujoji seems to have had nothing to do with the manipulation of Katasuke. So, 
could it have been a Kara member? And I'm going to say yes, because the elder, uh, we don't really know uh, his name per se, but the elder guy, okay, the guy who's old and the one that got burned, uh, he stated that the ninja tools, their development has been, uh, you know, slowed down thanks to Momoshiki's arrival. Now, this is interesting because the ninja tools were something that Katasuke introduced and we all know he was yes under control at that time so that is interesting because he mentioned the ninja weapons like he's the one that was in charge of them That was really interesting, and not only that, you know Momoshiki's, I did an entire video on this, but his Rinnegan actually is the same way as the Ninja Tool. So it actually is able to uh, basically take in Chakra and release it out, right? Actually is the same way as the Ninja Tool. So it actually is able to uh, basically take in chakra and release it out, right? Uh, basically take in techniques and release them out. That's basically what Momoshiki's uh, thing is. And another thing, in chapter 16, uh, towards the end, Boruto is fighting, you know, uh, his father, the seventh Okage, right? And... He's fighting and he's showing all of his moves. He showed lightning style, he showed water style. He's really showing off. And Naruto uh, puts up an entire wall to stop his attacks. And he fools him, right? And he's got a hand that is actually a creation, a prototype of, you know, the ninja tool. Okay, it's a prototype uh, based off the ninja tool. So he's able to suck away his chakra and basically he sucks in the Rasengan. And so this is interesting because that could be something that Kara has, you know, been in development as well. So that's something to keep in mind. Um, very interesting stuff. And like I said, the Elder mentioned Momoshiki's name, so it makes me believe that they know of their existence. Not only that, but they've come in contact with them before. Uh, yes. Okay, Kara's meeting in Chapter 16 is using Genjutsu communication. Now, we know this because at the end of the transmission, we see it you know, then basically disappear as holograms. So that was very interesting because that reminded me of the Akatsuki. Remember when they're in the, the cave and they're, uh, you know, all talking about the tailed beast and they have to gather the tailed beast chakra and, you know, for the ten tails, right? For the, the ghetto statue. So that was interesting. Next thing, um, it seems there could be, there could be eight members of the inner Kara. Now, there is an inner and an outer group, okay? Now, the inner group seems to be the one that is the most important uh, because we saw the, the leader, Jigen, he basically stated to the elder that it's none of your concern or the ones in the outer group because you're you basically you're of no use to me and yeah so that was interesting um another thing there is a woman uh member okay with curly hair and she has some kind of unique special eyes are they a dojutsu or is it a you know i'm not saying it's a renegon or anything like that but it looks different from any eye we've ever seen. Could it be a Keke Genkai? 
Yes, guys. You know, Keke Genkai were very interesting. Um, yeah. The next thing, um, Boruto realizes that his seal transforms as he progresses. Okay, and I'm going to show you this, okay? So there's a picture of him uh, when he's fighting Shijoji, and he's holding on to his, you know, he's looking at his hand, and he realizes the seal has transformed, okay? Before, it was just a diamond, okay? It was just a diamond. And keep in mind, uh, Jigen, the leader of Kara, has a diamond on his chin, okay? He has a diamond on his chin. But then... You know, you see the actual seal, uh, it actually, you know, transforms outward, okay? And we saw this when I showed you the, uh, the you know, the seals from Kara, how they're related to Boruto and Kawaki. So, you can see that. Um, but it, it seems that now he realizes the power is related to this organization. He just doesn't know what it's called. He just knows there's something out there that he, you know, is connected to somehow. Okay? So, I found that interesting. Okay, the final scene with the missing vessel. Uh, the foot approaching them reminded me of the fourth great ninja war when Sasuke was there dying and it ended up being Kabuto, but at that time I was really hyped because I thought it might be another Uchiha, you know, just, you know, I didn't really think it was an Uchiha, but maybe it was. And there was a lot of possibilities it could have been, but then it ended up being Kabuto. So, uh, anyways, I thought that was a very interesting way to end the chapter. Um, oh, and Kashin Koji. This guy is very interesting. I noticed that he has this... A uh, very mysterious vibe to him, and I found him very interesting. So, those are the things that I noticed on on the chapters. Uh, yeah, so uh, I focus most on Kara. So I want to get rolling on my discussion and not, you know, ramble on too much. So let's get to the discussion. Question number one: What exactly is Kara? What is it? Now, uh, the actual definition, Kara, literally means husk or shell. So, this organization is basically unknown to most, okay? They're kind of, you know, out there. They're similar to Akatsuki, but at least some people knew of the Akatsuki. Now, it doesn't seem like anybody knows of this group, which makes them even more dangerous. It makes them more dangerous because we find out that they are collecting Juin Jutsu. Now, a Juin Jutsu is cursed sealed marks or cursed seals. So basically, uh, Shojoji states to, uh, I think it was Sasuke, that it is nothing like Orochimaru's seals. It's a different level. So maybe it's a cursed mark seal, but it's on a whole nother level. So if it's on a whole nother level, we're talking godlike. So what are they sealing uh, in the these marks that they have around? You know, what is sealed in them, right? Uh, in the other ones, because we know Boruto and Kawaki probably have something uh, even, you know, Boruto probably has Momoshiki's power and possibly Kinshiki as well, because we know, you know, they were together and basically uh, his spirit uh, and power was basically absorbed into that seal and that became his power. So that is my feeling on Boruto. Uh, but about the others, I have no idea. I have no idea. Are, are there other Otsutsuki there? Are, they, are there other uh, beings that they've, you know, captured? I'm not exactly sure. So, very interesting stuff about the other seals. Um, now, uh, I do believe their very purpose is to collect these seals uh, and seal entities of godlike powers within these seals, like I stated. Now, this requires massive amounts of chakra, and hence the reasoning why I believe the ninja tool is so similar to Momoshiki's power. So is it possible that this ninja tool is actually 
giving them the opportunity to steal chakra from these entities and you know put them in the seal form something along those lines so the actual tool is using in this manner so it's not actually using to help others it's actually to you know it, it's it's basically the same thing as Momoshiki was doing stealing chakra from others like he did from Naruto like he did from Killer B you know and basically you know sealing it instead of throwing it back you know sealing it in these you know seal like uh, marks so very interesting stuff that's kind of what I feel they're they're doing right now um, now they're, like I said, their history is rather unknown, so we don't know how long they've been around. Uh, like I said, they've, they've probably been around, but they've been keeping a low profile up until now, right? Now that Konoha finally heard of them. Uh, so yeah, um, like I said, uh, this kind of reminds me of how Akatsuki had a purpose of collecting the tailed beasts. So if they're collecting... Uh, the these entities in the seals what is their purpose because at the end of the transmission Jigen the leader he stated that that vessel that we lost is the key to unlocking the power now now obviously what power are they talking about they're talking about some really crazy power uh, if if it's requiring a vessel because we've heard the word vessel very many times right and Orochimaru uh, Sasuke was considered a vessel the leader of Kara Jigen has a seal on his chin I'm gonna show it to you right here and it's the diamond similar to Boruto's palm now when it first was shown does that mean they're the same one? I don't know. I, I don't know. But it's very interesting and another connection, I think. So definitely take a look at this. All right. So as you Very cool. Um, another thing. Uh, he also has the number four in Roman numerals under his eye, okay? And this is where the eightfold path comes into play because I believe the inner group, okay, they all consist of numbers. Each of them represent a number, and each of these numbers uh, represent an element. And this is an element in Buddhism, and each of them have specific uh, you know techniques and you know traits that make them unique uh, it teaches th about restoring oneself cultivating discipline that's another and it practices mindfulness and meditation so that you can obtain nirvana thus ending the endless cycle of death and rebirth or samsara now Samsara, if you don't know, is the endless cycle of, you know, suffering. The endless cycle of suffering. Now that seems similar to this endless cycle of hatred in Naruto. And you're exactly right. Because the Sage of Six Paths, six paths are represented with Samsara. So there are six paths. Just like the six paths of pain, you know, you have the Ashura path, the Prada path, the Naraka path, the human path, the, you know, you have uh, so many different paths, the animal path, there's a lot of paths, there's six paths, right? And Samsara is represented in a wheel, okay? And in Naruto, we have a, a different representation. We have the Rinnegan, right? And it allows you to you know bring people back from the dead it allows you to you know bring forth animals but actually the numbers don't mean just they are the first member no no I believe it, it represents the fourth element 
of the Noble Eightfold Path, and there comes the title of my video. So, I believe it consists, the inner group of Kara consists of eight members, and their powers represent different elements in total. So, the eight elements of the Noble Eightfold Path is a principal teaching in Theravada Buddhism. So, Theravada Buddhism uh, has these principal teachings, and in this, there are eight elements. And so, I believe that Jigen, Lord Jigen, represents number four. Now, this is uh, where we get the eight elements from, okay? And these are all represented in a wheel as well, and it's the same ones, right? It's, it's like teachings you have to go through. It's like a process you have to go through. Uh, so, it's, it, it takes a while. Okay, now, we're going to get to the actual eight elements now. So, uh, number one, the number one element uh, is, actually, you know what, since we're going uh, so deep, let's go into uh, the next question, which is, what is the Eightfold Path, right? What is the Noble Eightfold Path? Because I kind of explained it a little bit, uh, so a little out of, you know, out of order, but that's okay. Uh, so, going into it a little bit more deep, uh, the Eightfold Path, like I said, it teaches restraining oneself and cultivating discipline, right? Now, there are eight elements, and these are the eight elements. Number one, right view, right view. And the first uh, one that is represented, the first element of Kara, is the girl with curly hair, okay? And what does she have? She has these unique eyes. So this leads me to believe that she is the first element, right view. Death is not the end. So, does that mean she has a renegade? Death is not the end. We talked about samsara, right? So, does she have the renegade? Is it a, you know, sim similar to the renegade? Uh, as we all know, Momoshiki had one. It wasn't, you know, the same. So there are different ones. Um, just a thought. Uh, number two, the right resolve. The right resolve. Okay, number two, we're not sure of. We don't know which one, which car member represents that. But right resolve refers to giving up one's livelihood in order to sustain a life uh, worth living. So basically, living to survive. You don't, the necessary things to survive giving up all possessions and home and you know things like this so that represents number two number three right speech no lying uh, no rude speech uh, and that is basically you know basically following orders is what it sounds like to me okay so right speech is the uh, the fat guy he's not really fat he's big Okay, and he, he has a beard, uh, and he has like these blood spots that look like they're coming down his face. I'm going to show a picture of you, and you can see there's three of them. So this represents the third element, right speech, right speech. So he's the third element. Now this is interesting. This represents Lord Jigen, and it says no killing, no killing or sexual acts. So this one is very interesting because he seems like he would, you know, obviously it's probably not going to be exactly like it. They, they probably took the concept from it, but they're going to spin it in their own way. So very interesting though, if Jigen is right conduct, then that means no killing in, in Buddhism. Okay, number five. Uh, we know this is the elder. The elder has the number five on his forehead, and he is right livelihood. Uh, basically, this one, you basically hang on to what is essential, and you survive. It's similar to um, resolve. It's similar to resolve, so they're very similar. Uh, but yeah. It, it almost sounds like you hang on to what you have in order to survive, basically. The essentials. Um, okay, and that's the elder, like I said. Number six, uh, guard against sensual thoughts. This is right effort. Right effort. Now, we have no idea who number six is. 
Uh, and number seven, right mindfulness. And again, we don't know who is number seven. We only know a few members and their numbers. Uh, right mindfulness, obviously, this also refers to the consciousness and also the discipline that, you know, you have to strive to keep. Okay, and number eight, we know this is Samadhi, Samadhi, and we know that Kashin Koji uh, stated the flames of Samadhi. Now, uh, Samadhi is a meditative union of the mind, okay? And this is the last element of the eight noble path, okay? The noble eightfold path. So Kashin Koji represents the number eight. He represents number eight. All right, so those are the members of Kara, and now we can move on to the next question, which is, uh, what is Samadhi? I just explained it a little bit, so again, a little out of order, but what is uh, the actual meaning? So basically, the technique he uses is called the Flames of Samadhi. It is said to be so strong that it, restoration techniques are useless. Now... Samadhi is the state of deep meditation, a Buddhist teaching, and is known as the last of the eight elements of the Noble Eightfold Path. This leads me to believe that Kara consists of members with each, with different teachings, eight elements representing this unique set of uh, disciplines, right? So... If Jigen is the fourth, maybe his technique represents the fourth element, and I explained that before. And since Koji has the final element, I believe he's the eighth. Okay? The big guy, again, he has the one that looks like marks going down his face. He is number three, and the woman with the curly hair is number one. So, what, are about, what about the others? Okay, what about the others? There is a Mado who is missing, we don't know. What about the Vessel? Okay, is he considered part of their group? Okay, so there are eight of them that I believe. So that leaves uh, the vessel as one of them. So very interesting stuff. Uh, yeah. Okay, let's move on. Who is Kashin Koji? Now this leads back to what I said about Samadhi, because Kashin Koji is the assassin. Uh, they they kind of reference him as Koji, uh, but he's the assassin within the organization and perhaps a very important character as he states that he is fated with Konoha okay he uses the word fate now let me go back to chapter 10 Momoshiki states that it is your fate that those eyes will take everything from you Boruto he uses the same word as Momoshiki fate with Uh, could this guy turn out to be Kawaki? Uh, could this guy turn out to be Kawaki? Could he be Kawaki later on? Could he actually be Kawaki? Because he has blonde hair, okay? Maybe they experiment on him. Okay, we, we have this mask that he's wearing. We don't know what his face looks like. So maybe his face is all, you know, we don't know. We don't know. So very interesting developments, and I really like this character. Uh, it would be interesting. I would like to see something like that. Not necessarily a, you know, creation just of Naruto and Sasuke, but now you got another rogue ninja, and they're creating, you know, this, this vessel. You know, he becomes the vessel, you know. Who knows? Um, very interesting stuff. What do you guys think? Who do you guys think Kashin Koji is? Do you guys feel he might end up being Kawaki? Uh, let me know in the comments. Um, let me know in the comments. Um, like I said, maybe he's a rogue ninja. Maybe he's originally from Konoha. 
okay? Um, we don't know. There's a lot of things that you could uh, say about him. So, the last thing and last, uh, who do you guys think the foot approaching Konohamaru is? Is it the vessel? Perhaps this is the missing member of Kara Amado. Uh, I think it's probably the vessel, but I could be wrong. Uh, yeah, so that is a lot to take in, guys. I know I spoke a lot, uh, but I hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, I wanted to share my thoughts, and what do you guys feel about uh, Kara? Uh, do you uh, like where this is headed? I do. I cannot wait for the next chapter. It comes out this week. I will be doing a live reaction, so I hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, yeah, that's pretty much it, and I'll see you guys in the next one.